Hi, I'm David Lee. Welcome to the Gravity Golf Channel. Today we're going to talk about the difference between chipping with a 60 degree wedge or a pitching wedge. We have a shot to this pin that has a transition zone right in front of the pin. So it's important to know that if I land the ball into that transition zone with a high lofted club, it's going to stop the ball. Now, a talented player who has good short game skills can hit these shots with any club in the bag. But most people nowadays are prone to want to take a 58 or a 60 degree wedge and try to carry it all the way to the hole. If you hit it exactly right and it carries the right distance, it can work very effectively and you can have a short putt. So I'm going to set up and hit this with a 60 degree. Okay, so that landed almost at the top of the transition and I wound up with about a seven foot putt there and that ball was struck very, very cleanly. But if it lands anywhere in that transition zone, the slope of the hill can kill the shot and have me roll back down the hill and I can leave myself a, a 20 footer for par. So what we're trying to figure out is what shot will give us the most consistency in distance control. And that normally is going to be a shot that will be hit with less loft, get the ball on, safely carry the margin of the green, and get the ball on the ground and let it run out to the hole. Most shots around the green need to be, the club selection needs to be geared on how much loft it takes to safely carry the margin of the green by a few feet and then get the ball on the ground as quickly as possible. So I'm going to take a uh, pitching wedge now and hit this shot. Now if I carry it all the way to the top shelf, the ball is going to uh, run past the hole. So even with a pitching wedge, I'm going to have to land it short of that transition and let it run up. See that hit right in the middle of the transition zone and I struck that very cleanly and it killed the shot and left me just about the same distance putt that I had with the uh, 60 degree wedge. And let's try this one more time here and I'll take the uh, eight iron. I'm gonna hit a little bump and run. An eight iron will safely clear the, clear the margin of the green and stop by the time it gets to the hole. See, that ball wound up about six inches from the hole. I struck it very cleanly. It got on the ground and ran out just like a putt. So hopefully this helps you to understand that you want to strike the ball with the least loft that you can, safely carry the margin of the green and stop it by the time it gets to the hole. It looks, it looks cute and nice to watch that ball go way up in the air, but the more of a glance factor that you put on these shots, the less reliable your distance control becomes. Thank you for watching. Check out our website. We have lots of great stuff on there, so Get out and practice this and have a great day.